soon you will be able to rest. Kisamara imani rakini naronio. Nani wo ogusu wo shiteronda. Settle down now. Great body. Fall in over here. Yeah. All right, great party. Forward. Working party. Forward. Eternum Dunais. Lambert, I want you to know that I hold you responsible for that boy's death. Just as I shall hold you responsible when they catch and execute Dr. Keeler. They will, you know. He hasn't the chance of getting off this godforsaken island. And you ordered him to escape. No one He would wouldn't have gone him. unless you'd ordered him. Ah, Mr. Beatty. Yes, Captain Zakamura. Bow to Officer of Nippon. And you. Come here, please. Uh, not you. His Excellency. Yes, Captain. And hurry, please. Run, Your Excellency. Most honored to have former British Commissioner help to carry humble Nippon gun back to proper place. Ben Makanaboga or Motini Narona. Please. Colonel Yamamitsu, get the interpreter. Interpreter! Kai, kai. Interpreter! You have no right here. I want to see Colonel Yamamitsu. So sorry. Colonel still does not wish to see you. Then tell him I shall stay here until he changes his mind. Go to your hat. What you did out there was murder. Nothing less than murder. You have the insolence to accuse Japanese officer? There are rules governing the treatment of prisoners of war. And the punishment for attempted escape is not execution. Quiet! If you speak again, I will have you beaten. Call your hat. Hayoshi Torika. Oh, yeah, no more notes. Colonel Yamamitsu will see you. Only short time. Up! Lamba Taisa Kaviyama. Nanda. I've come to protest against the barbarous killing of Lieutenant Peters. Colonel Yamutsu say you must not have audacity to question authority of Japanese command. I question his authority to allow these atrocities. But please, Colonel I also question his authority to withhold medical no, supplies Lama. and food and to leave our mail rotting on the ground. Shogun Yonkate. Why, what are you talking about, Brisbane? What are you talking about? 
Can you also say you must not raise voice to officer of Imperial Army? Some of the guys ago. They must look at Tari. They must crush Tari. You got to show me why. In Angani, you got to. In Boba Kerika. Can you also say your men begin to get too much trouble? He know prisoners cut telephone wires, smash radio, or send for Skype, all bad things. Now they shall not go to Surunda. Nigi got to show me why do what he does. Malaimu, Beromamu, Minane Ponda. Colonel, not know why prisoners make foolish escape. Only capture soon, know where to go. Malay, Burma, all Japanese now. Soon in the old Japanese. Colonel, think prisoners just try to annoy you. I'm aware that Colonel Yamamitsu's country has not signed the Geneva Convention. Right, I must ask I... you to let me finish, Colonel. His Excellency say you are useful people. If you behave, when war finish, you stay with us, work for Nippon, save heads. Tell Colonel Yamamitsu when war finish, he and Captain Sagamura will be busy saving their own heads. Nani wa itaraka? Yakubo karamasen. Nani wa itaraka? Since you're going to worry about that, I don't know why not you go to Washington, Akrabana, Nandro, Toei, Teoromas. Nipponga, Maketa, Bai, 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 Nipponga, we are enemies of the Emperor, we will be killed, the camp will be burned to the ground, and so will the woman's camp at Nangdon. Yaki Hari Warero. Imbo Yamete. Nippon Teko no Shoreo. Minorba Sorete Yoinda. Mo, Kai. Colonel Lambert, prisoners must not do bad things anymore. And His Excellency advise you to pray for Japanese victory. You must go now. I have as yet no. This is must bow and this was my Japanese observer. Lambert. Lambert. Look, Petey. I've just had enough trouble with Yamamitsu. You've had trouble. Isn't that too bad? Everyone else is having such fun. Especially Dr. Keeler, somewhere out there in the jungle. Keeler was the only man suitable for the purpose. What purpose? I'm not prepared to discuss the matter at the I moment. demand to know. You can't treat me like this. I'm not just one of your troops, you know. I'm his commissioner here. For God's sake, don't argue in front of them. How many sick today? And they're all sick. There are only 14 of them excused duty and eight of them are delirious. I left Thornton there. Much good in there. I'm up for two days. Did you see Yamamitsu? I got nowhere. Well. Does that surprise you, Colonel? Smashing their radios, destroying their dispatches, provoking them night and day. Of course you got nowhere. I order you to put a stop to this purposeless sabotage. May I remind you that I am the officer in command here? May I remind you that some of us have wives and families in the camp at Nangdong? How long before the Japs start taking reprisals against them? Or hasn't that occurred to your military mind? Oh, come on. Well, let him finish. I'll finish because I want to finish. Can't you see what you're doing? You're just stirring up senseless trouble, making it worse for the whole camp. How many of them share that opinion? Well, Colonel... Let me see. Oh, Father, Scotty's been asking for you. I think he knows he hasn't got very much longer. No, go immediately. Well, I wouldn't go yet. He was asleep when I left. In half an hour, I'm ordered to the women's camp. The women's camp? There have been two more deaths. I have to read the burial service. Who died? Father, tell me, who died? Two of the Chinese. If I'm still allowed to give a blessing in Latin, is there any news for them? No, there's no news. Ask Mr. Beatty to tell Keeler's wife. There's no news. Why is it always my wife? Do you realize she could be shot for carrying messages? I realize I also can be shot. Unfortunately, we're the only two who know Latin. Just go! Colonel Lambert? Yes, Captain Sagamara. You requested more bandages? I did. So happy to comply. Lieutenant Peters, no longer need them.
take. Father Paul. Looks like it. Another burial at Nang Don. That's nine this week. Cholera. <laughs> or beriberi, or malaria, or dysentery, or plain bloody starvation. Fine time for another epidemic when they've let the flaming doctor escape. Maybe the old man had to send him. What had to? Two hundred men in the camp and they had to send the doctor. <laughs> You all right? Come on, Get! All right, Dutchie. Beat it. Get, get! Get, get, get! whose property is ever to have mercy and to spare. We humbly entreat thee on behalf of the souls of thy handmaidens, whom thou hast bid to depart out of this world, that thou mayest not deliver them into the hands of the enemy, nor forget them forever, but command them to be taken up by the holy angels and borne to the home of paradise, their true country that as they put their faith and hope in thee, they may not endure the pains of hell, but may possess everlasting joy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Dick Illy, quod nihil novi de sponso suo cognovimus, ad hoc liberes, orare debemus. Sponsus tuus, bene se habet, et te amanta salute. Requiem eternam dona eis, Domine, et lux perpetua luceat eis. Hori otsere te ite shumai! God be with you. Not talking, it is finished. He's still free. Thank God. He may even be off the island by now. I'm still hungry, Mummy. I know, dear. Can I have some more, please? There isn't any more, darling. We've had our rations. Here, have some of mine. There's too much here for me. I'm on a diet. to Japanese officer. I did bow. Next time, bigger bow. She's got cigarettes. Not for me, for all. You Jap tramp. Throw her in the swamp. Cut her hair off. No, you not do this. First time. I promise, first time. You're a lying slut. No, I no lie. 
No lie. Oh, she's not worth the energy. Mr. Killer. Yes, Captain. I send you a message. Two, three message. You do not do what I say. What did you say, Captain? You not report death of all prisoners who die. You Must think I've make out to... forms. We've had nine die in as many days. There's another 14 women in there desperately ill. We need medicines, not Silence. forms. Silence! You listen to me! Kate, quick, Jenny. Mr. Kila! You come back! Mr. Kila! <laughs> 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 I'm giving injections to someone so fit. Please, so good. Make something to put between that teeth. Anything. All right, Jenny. Come along now. You're all right now. Mr. Keeler, when Japanese officers fix your forms. Your forms, yes, you'll get your forms. Where have you injected? Left eye. She didn't break the needle. No, but this got smashed. You want the forms now, or am I allowed to tend the sick? So sorry. But Imperial Japanese Army, very correct, must keep very good record of everything. <coughs> Why don't I fill in one form for all of us? A sort of general death certificate. <laughs> You give me forms this afternoon. All right, Jenny. All right, Jenny. Come on. All right, working party. Dismiss. There's a lot more of them limping this evening, sir. Perhaps you could let them off the last inspection. Listen, Dawes. We've nothing left but discipline. It's the only thing that holds us together. Yes, sir. Take that away and they'll fall apart. Three missing from this hut, sir, and two from yours. Missing? The Japs went off with a party of five. Sergeant Major and two from here, and Shields and Father Anjou from your hut. When was it? This afternoon, sir. They drove off in Father Anjou's truck. Has anyone any idea where they went? No, no, sir. I thought I told you to change that bandage yesterday. There aren't any more bandages, sir. We've got some back today. Get them from Major Dawson, have them swilled out. Yes, sir. You shaved today? Yesterday, sir. You know my orders. There's enough scruffiness above without your adding to it. Yes, sir. Who's this? Corporal Hallam, sir. Is he sick? Not physically, sir. You know how it is. Sometimes they just give up. Is he a good soldier? Very good, sir. How long has he been like this? Oh, it's been coming on for some time. This morning's business just about finished him. I've tried to talk... Corporal Hallam! Get up. Stand up, I'm talking to you. Now listen to me, Hallam. I'm going to say this once and once only, so you better pay attention. You're feeling pretty sorry for yourself. Well, so are the rest of us. But we don't just curl up and die. That's too easy, Hallam. You hear me? Men like you just make it harder for the rest of us. You sit there moping while the others go out and work to keep you alive. Tomorrow morning, you're going out on the working party and you're going to be made to work hard. I've no use for shirkers, and there's no room for self-pity here. Understand? Do you understand? Yes, sir. Go on, then. Tell me you do. What? Tell me that you understand. I understand, sir. Louder. I understand, sir. I hope you do. Mail. You all know your mail's down on the wall. No sack, sir. It can't be. It's the mail. The mail! The flaming mail's in! Oh, 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 oh. Well, obviously, no one's going to get in there tonight. You've had quite an excursion, I see. They took us to the wharf. My wife? She's well. She looked a little tired, but well. Oh, I... I borrowed this. There's a couple of crates coming off. Yes, they were with the mail. That is all. Leave them. Pack your hats. Curfew. Quicker, quicker. Run. Speed up. Inside! What are those boxes? I don't know. Was 
there anything on them? Markings? Writing? Confess, I never looked. I'm sorry, I suppose I should have. I can't seem to keep track of what is and what isn't important in our lives. Forgive me, Paul. It's just as if they're radio spares we have to know. Mail's up. Only we haven't got it yet. Yeah, I tried to grab a fistful, but Charlie Chan trod on my hand. <laughs> I can't believe it. A letter from the old girl. Was there anything stenciled on those boxes? Uh, boxes? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Newman & Co., Singapore. Radio spares. It could be. Boxes were lighter than they looked. Could be lots of shavings. Was there anything else? Dispatch papers for the Japs? No, nothing. Where's Van Hout? He's working out there. I want to see him as soon as he gets back. How about that? No mail for 12 months, and he's worried about dispatch papers. Maybe nobody writes to him. Yeah, you've got something there, Pommy. Static. Dutchy, mail's up. No, that's wonderful. Hey, Van Yeah, forgot to tell you. Teacher wants you. Man's a madman. Your move, Beatty. Sir, there's nothing new. The same. You know, they brought the mail up from the wharf. Dom Chess told me. They also brought two wooden boxes from Newman and Company, Singapore. Radio spares. Now they've got the parts. How long is it going to take them to get the set working again? Hmm, three, four hours. I did a good job, you know. I've just taken the boxes across. It'll be dark in an hour. Leaves me a good two hours. I had to bundle you with all this responsibility, Dutch. I'm the best damn radio pasta on Blood Island. You're also the only other one who knows the situation. What situation? So I was right, you are keeping something from us. I didn't hear you knock. How dare you? How dare you behave in this high-handed dictatorial manner? I dare because I'm the officer commanding here. You think you have the right to behave just how you please, riding roughshod over people better qualified Wait than you? Wait a minute. There's only one person capable of handling Yamamitsu. And that's you. I'm a trained diplomat. I know how to deal with the Japanese. Is that the general opinion? Shields? Well, why pick on me? I see. I'm going to tell them. Is that wise? I'm going to take a chance. Come in, all of you. You too, Paul. If it's the Council of War, you won't need me. I've always come to you about everything, Paul. This is one thing I haven't told you. Maybe it's the one thing I should have told you. All right. Dutch, take that window. Shields to the back one. Gentlemen, 
You all know that eventually Yamamitsu will be hunted down by the Allies and hanged as a war criminal. He was guilty of crimes in Burma and the Philippines long before he was hand-picked for this job. You all know this, so does Yamamitsu. He also knows that he's got nothing left to lose by perpetrating every form of murder and sadism. Twice, Yamamitsu has told me, quite dispassionately, that he will murder every man, woman, and child on this island and raise both camps to the ground if Japan loses the war. Two days ago, Van Elst received some news on his radio, news that I decided should be kept a top secret between he and I. Maybe I was wrong. So I'm going to tell you now. Gentlemen, I have to inform you that the war is over. Over? Two days ago, Japan surrendered. So far, we've kept the news from Yamamitsu. The patrol is coming. My bloody oath. Wait, tobacco is bunker. Tobacco is
Shokin Macho. In the Borsu, Nandi Gorka. Nandi Gorka. Nandi Gorka. Nandi Gorka. Sama. Chusan Soros. Chusan Soros. A solo Sara. Bow nicely, boys, for your flipping mail. I can never read my old woman's writing. You'll have plenty of time to decipher. The last one I got was a seed catalogue. Followed me right through Burma. All right, settle down now. Salute! Japanese flag! Aye, aye. Here comes a butcher. Down we go again, boys. This is making me seasick. Shako bandaraka for yoga. Mudemo kwashta. Come on, Naran. Shobach the arrow. Colonel Yamamitsu say, last night, prisoners interfered with radio. Colonel, very cross. Now we take steps to punish. Rokani Nachumero. Colonel Yamamitsu now takes six hostages. Colonel Yamamitsu, now punish prisoners for all bad things done last two, three weeks. Furioni Sasero. Just the same as you do. But we've got to take it out on that sand. So save your energy. For you all, come on, as I say. Come on, working party, out. Working party, more work. I got it. Come on. Must be from the mainland. I suppose it couldn't possibly. Yeah, you've got to hope. Oh, so there, it means trouble. Wherever he's come from, the pilot will know. And there's no one to stop him talking. I'm praying, Paul. I'm praying the pilot's dead.
They can't speak English. See you there, Joe? What happened? Don't worry about me now. The war. You mustn't tell them. You please, mustn't please, tell please, the please. champs. Don't tell them the war is over. But it is. What's your name? Keith. Dr. Keith. Okay, Doc. Now just take it easy. Save your strength. Nandong. Is this it? This is the women's camp. Women's camp? My wife's in there. I gotta see you. Look, Doc. Help me to see you. Look, Doc. You, Just you, to say goodbye, they're gonna shoot me anyway. You, you'll never make it. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come <laughs> Over there, someone's been shot. Kate! Kate! Helen, she's dying. She's dropped into a coma, but there still may be a chance. Come on. She's gone, Kate. Mr. Keeler. That man out there. Your husband. This huh? woman died of cholera. Cholera? Better inform the commandant. Cholera? Yes. Perhaps I'll find a doctor for cholera. Yes. Find the doctor. Hunt him out, catch him and beat him. Kate, find a doctor. And when you've starved him and broken him, shoot him. Don't dare to speak to him. Get out of here. We don't want you. Get out. Oh. All right, put her on the bed. You brought someone back. That's an American uniform. Looks like travel, doesn't it? Questions. Your name? Bellamy. Peter Bellamy. Please? B E W -L, L A M Y. So sorry. Not used to spell American names. Well, you better start learning. Please? Skip it. Your rank? Lieutenant Commander, U.S. Navy. Unit? Seventh Fleet. And. Right. Your ship? Lieutenant Commander, Peter Bellamy, U.S. Navy. Name of ship? Lieutenant Commander, Peter Bellamy, U.S. Navy. I asked name of ship, name of aircraft carrier. Lieutenant Commander Peter Bellamy. Still need the rest? Just hit me. That's all, just hit me. The order of us, come here! Why you fly above our camp? Lieutenant Commander Peter Bellum. Quiet! You're insolent. We ask all questions again. What ship? Please. Working party, dismiss. Gentlemen, no, no dismiss. Prisoner, stay here in line. You say quick. You. As you were. You quick, quick, quick. Got a measure. Keep them in line. Keep them here. Can I lump it? 
Commandant, order everyone on parade. Soon, please. They know. Not necessarily. They want us on parade. They want us. Both prisoners who run away now dead. As you see, Dr. Keeler now shot. Next time, hostages will be shot. Worry. Shoto. You may dismiss. All right, dismiss. Sido. Hostages. Burial party. Right. Told them. Maybe he did. She didn't believe him. Lambert, I can't take it. I can't take any more of this. You're so keeler out there. In 48 hours, it'll be all of us. Easy, Cobbett. Day after Easy. tomorrow, their boat comes in from the mainland. There'll be more dispatches. We'll have to stop them, like we did the last one. Let boat. me go to Yamamitsu. Tell him what we know. Throw ourselves on his mercy. We've seen three years of his mercy, Peter. Oh, for heaven's sake, Lambert. I, I have a wife and child in the camp in Nandong. What have they done to deserve this? We're trying to save your wife but and he, child. He'll Peter. kill them if he finds out. He'll, he'll kill them. The chief's right, you know. He's been dead bloody right all along. Uh, come on. Oh, God. Well, I'd better go and start to get rations. I'm going to have to break care for you as it is. New prisoner, Peter Dallamy, Lieutenant Commander, U.S. Navy. All right, get him over there. Take okay. it easy. Okay, okay grab that. Give him a breather. Okay. Up. Turn him round. <coughs> Gave you quite a facial, didn't I? I'm fine. I could use a drink, though. I'll be proud to buy you one. I suppose the war is over. Everywhere but here. Get my washbowl doors. Do they know it's over? Not for me, they don't. What'll it be, scotch or rye? Both. One lukewarm chlorinated water coming up. You mean you don't tell them? No, nope. why not? A fellow named Keeler told me down. You met Keeler? I was there when it happened. He said he'd talk to Lambert. I'm Lambert. All right. Can I take this? Yeah, I guess so. Clean off his back. Hey, what's going on around here? You guys running your own private war? I'm trying desperately to avert a massacre. Holy cow! Look at that bloody man! You can't do anything, sir. He's got to be stopped. You'll only stop a bullet. It's after curfew. No back. I wish to see Colonel Yamamitsu on a matter of extreme urgency. Colonel, always see important person like His Excellency. This way, please. Yes, sir. hold him. He's fallen. So sorry. His Excellency tripped over a humble foot. Please. <laughs> Ancient Japanese sport, jujitsu. Kapio, get him inside before I shoot him. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Just 
Do you still want the NCO, sir? No, I think for the moment we've been reprieved. Look, Father, you don't have to stay here. I shan't break out again. If you'd rather I left. No, no, I'm to be watched. I'm under arrest, aren't I? I'm not watching you. But I'm afraid if I go, Major Dawes will be in, and I thought perhaps you'd... Yes, prefer... yes, of course, of course. I don't blame them. I blame myself. What can I do, Father? What can I do? I, um... I try to get consolation from prayer. How can I believe in prayer when all this goes on? Violence and evil existed before we came to Blood Island, my son. I wish I had your face. Sakamura tells me I go to Nang Dong for another burial tomorrow. What shall I tell your wife? Tell her. Tell her I love her very dearly. Ask her to kiss the boy. Don't... Don't tell her anything else. You should turn in and get some sleep. Lambert wants you to sleep here. He's taking your bed. Ah, you see? We're here. The women's camp, here. This is a two-mile strip of estuary between us and the mainland. Yeah, that's about where I went off course. The Sixth Fleet is due south. Yeah. This is mostly jungle. But about four or five miles inland, there's a Malayan village. They're partisans. They have a transmitter. Through them, we could get word to Singapore. Keeler was heading for that village. Yeah. He and his wife are the only two who knew of it. That's why I had to send Keeler. Young Peters was the fittest one to go with him. Oh, Lord, Lord is he alone? He's going to sleep. But the Colonel said... All right, Tors, leave him alone. Look, two miles isn't very wide. If we could make some sort of a raft... There isn't time to make anything. The dispatch boat arrives tomorrow. Every second counts now. Well, what's the next move? I'm telling you this so that if I don't get through, you'll all know as much as I do. I'm going to leave the island here and try to swim across to here. You? That lady of yours? You're not going anywhere. Well, it's madness. You can't even speak Malayan. I can't. Listen, if anyone's going, it's me. I'm fitter than any of you. Correction. If it's a question of fitness, I'm... You? Not... Just look at you. This is just superficial. What do you know about the Changi? You wouldn't last a night. What I'm trying to point out is I'm the only one here who's had a square meal in the last three years. And just what was the last one? Southern fried chicken and a quart of ice cream. A quart of ice cream. So, that's settled. Now, Listen, you dim witted yank. Just because you think you won the war. Look, you sheep dipping lemmy. All I'm trying to point no, out to you is. I'm impressed with your enthusiasm. But may I remind you that I'm in command here and it's for me to give the orders. I'm breaking out of this camp tomorrow night and leaving Van Elst in command. What time's your burial, Paul? In daybreak. Are you sure? Quite sure, Paul. Now, I want this message delivered through Mrs. Beatty. Listen carefully. It's the most vital message you've ever passed. Listen, you're the no addition. Bar, Paul. I want Kate Keeler to be under the water tower tomorrow night at nine o'clock. I shall be waiting for her in the trees opposite the tower. She's to be ready to come with me. One hand across her face like this, and it means that I'll know she can get out by herself. Two hands across, and I'll have to go in and get her. You've got to do it, Paul. I wonder what the Latin is for water tower. Where's Mrs. Beatty? Speak only from the book. But Mrs. Beatty's you. From book. God, whose property is ever to have mercy and to spare. Continue. Whose property is ever to have mercy and to spare. Hey, Bella me. What? Slow. What? Slow. We haven't all our chicken and ice cream. Oh, sure. Sure, slow. Slow.
are we making here, anyway? Airstrip. The war's over, and I'm making a Jap airstrip. What was that, Yank? I... You made it funny, Limey. Didn't make me laugh. Oh, knock off. The road at the top. Which way's Nang Dong? Left. Why? I'm getting out of here. You can't do that. What's happening? I'm making a break for it. Wish me luck, Limey. Help me, push! Tell me you can't! We shoot the hostages. It's six lives against everybody. She don't have to come. After this, he shoot me anyway. Shh. Tommy, like a cigarette. War is over now. Over? Yes, I'll go home. No more war. Have a cigarette. Can I have one? Two pens past that next one, then the Nangtong roadblock, about a mile. Is it level through there? Level enough. Well, we got a long wait till nine o'clock. We have also got. Eight cigarettes. You better gen me up on this layout. Listen. Here's us. The road winds twice. The road block. We can cut through this piece and come out on the side of the Nangtong compound, right opposite the water tower. How come you know this territory so well? I used to grow rubber here. Had a nice home once. Yeah, where? Yamamitsu lives there now. Camp. Is it safe to smoke? Two more prisoners escaped today. As promised, you will now be executed. Daichiban. Senior NCOs, you have to know. Well, that it. I'm sorry to have to tell you with one breath that the war is over and with the next that we're all liable to be massacred at any moment. 
I know my actions must have seemed pretty irresponsible to you, but now you know why. So far, we've kept the news from Yamamitsu. I'd say you've worked a miracle, sir. Yes. Well, it can't last forever. Any moment now, the news is going to seep through. And when it does, we've got to be prepared to put up a bloody good fight. You can rely on us, sir. I hope I can. Unfortunately, two of my senior officers have seen fit to disobey my orders today. I hope for better cooperation from you. Well, what do we fight with, sir? First, anything you can lay your hands on. And these grenades. They've been in the sanitation pit for three years. So they're pretty corroded. Better not hang on too long after the pin's out. The first objectives are the machine gun tires. One lobbed in each. And then? Kill as many Japs as we can before they kill us. When does all this start, sir? Tomorrow, the next day. Depends on circumstances. But I'll give you the signal and you won't mistake it. Meantime, get the men to manufacture all the weapons they can out of anything they can find. Bludgeons, knives, knuckle dusters, razors, choppers, the lot. But keep them small. Do we tell them why, sir? No. Just tell them they've got to be prepared to put up the fight of their lives. You better cut along. Sakamura. Just left the house coming this way. Get the box. NCOs, under the bed. You two, in front. Colonel Lambert? Yes, Captain Sakamura. Six prisoners die honorably. Heads cut off. That is Japanese chivalry. You take identity discs. In morning, take six more hostages. And this time, one from this hut. All right, get them out the back window. One from this hut. Lambert. I'd like to volunteer. I think you've been through enough as it is. I'd like to do something, be part of the fight. I know. Would you trust me with one of those grenades? Yes, Peter. I'd trust you. Must be Vapus 9. Something's gone wrong. If she can't get out, I'll have to cut her way in. Where? Under the gun tower. The lights can't get at me. Give me a diversion.
Almost sounded you, too. Mrs. Keeler. Kate Keeler. Mm. Show me. Mm. Is this it? Mm. Open it. Don't be frightened. I'm here to help. Lie still. Don't make any noise. Which of you is Mrs. Keeler? I am. Who are you? I'm from the other camp. What happened to her? She was outside with the Jap. Oh, she now. You take care of her. His body's out there. Better get it before the patrol comes back. We need to hear Dan to McCombe Elliott. All right. You can help. You can help. Shake a grave behind the tree. Let's help. Come on, eh? You got the message? What message? I have to get to the mainland. Find that transmitter. You're the only one left who can help. When? Now. Where do we hide it? In her bed. No. Please. Don't watch your toes. We have to take over, Jan. I'm going. Good luck, Katie. Under the gun tower. Hug the wire. Now. as I was. Save your strength. You'll need it later. Isn't there any way to get off this main road? Car tracks to the right lead to lower road. Well, we can't get through any further. Come on. At least we've hit the water. Hit it too far down. Means more swim, that's all. I can't make it. You've got to make it. I can't swim that far. Between the two of us, we can. Oh. Wait a minute. This will float. Hang on to me. You got to try. Kate. Come on now. Kate, kick. Kick your legs. Kick. That's it.
We made it, Kate. Don't let go. Don't let go. Uh, 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 leave me here. No. Uh, leave me. No, I need you. Uh, uh, lead me to the transmitter. Uh, Kate. Uh, Kate. Uh, uh, you can't pass out on me now. Kate, you can't pass out on me now. Uh, Kate. Uh, Now, Colonel, one from your hut. Which shall it be? Yo. Good on you, sir. Keep trying. Captain Zakamura. Captain Zakamura, I must speak to you and the Commandant. You must let me speak. This is vital, urgent. You may speak now. No, no, not here. They'd kill me. I must tell you inside. Colonel Yamamitsu must know. Go on, Tazi. Follow me. A grenade would do it, sir. No, hold it. Wait. You won't understand what I'm saying. It doesn't really matter anymore. Two days ago, I had a wife. A wife I loved very dearly. You murdered her, just as surely as if you'd machine-gunned her poor, starved body. I still have a five-year-old son at Nangdon. My last prayer is that he will live long enough to forget your vile, inhuman... Holy cow! All right, here we go. Get down. Get down, right. Still firing. Couldn't get to it, sir. Push, everyone. Push. Uh. All right. Rest a minute. 
suddenly gone quiet. Just keep your heads down. Here they come. They're trying to draw us on. Sound major, no grenade. Yes, sir. Wait until they're in range. Yes, right, so I'll bring the others over here, sir. Do you think you can make it? I'll go around the back. Right. It's the gun tower. Ammunition. Yes, sir. Keep me covered as far as you can. There's no ammo anywhere. I got these off a pile of dead Japs. Shield sprayed them from the tar. Shields? Yeah. Don't ask me how he got up there. I just heard, sir, that there wasn't a shot fired at Langdong. Thank you, Dawes. It took great courage for him to make that decision. It's going to take even more courage for him to live with it. <laughs> 